For this video and demonstration, I'd like you to download the W13Art116 zip files. When you get those files on your desktop, what I'd like you to do is open up your USB, Art116, your named folder or user folder, and I'd just like you to drop this whole folder in there. What's in this folder are a bunch of images of frogs through five, some slides that we're going to use for a slide gallery, and then thumbnails of the frog images. So make sure that you have these in your USB to begin with. Next, I would like you to go to the week 13 topics in the module and click on them. What I did was I went here and clicked on the topics. I have some really important links that we're going to use for this demonstration. So make sure that this page is open and we're going to be coming back and forth to it during this demonstration. Okay, for this first demonstration, I want you to click on the BX slider link and open up this web page. The kind of slider we're going to create is down here. And you can even click through these little dots here. All right, to do it, what I need you to do is click on click here to install. And they give you a couple different ways of going about it. They have given you the easy way, which basically is using the code that they've given you. And I do want to note that this have JavaScript in it. And the JavaScript file in this case is actually hosted in the cloud. So you don't need to download the JavaScript rather it's being linked to in the cloud okay and also the style sheet so everything right now is being linked to in the cloud basically there are two ways of going about creating some of these interactive javascript components you can download all these files and have them local and then link to them in your html document or you can have a link to them when they're stored in the cloud all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a layout and I've got this cat layout again. And instead of having this static image in here, rather I'm going to make this a slider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this image and right now it's in the background of my header. So I'm going to open up my style sheet. Actually, it's in the container I called Hero. And I'm going to go to the background and I'm going to delete that background image. Okay. So right now, I just have an empty div container that I gave a class name of Hero hyphen image. All right, with that set up, going back to this web page, what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to copy the style sheet and also the links to the JavaScript file. So I'm going to go edit, copy. I'm going to flip back to the head of my document, which is right here. And right below here, I am going to pause because I hear a train coming. OK, as I was saying, in the head of the document here, I'm going to come right between the beginning and then you have the head tag and I'm going to paste in that code. It's important code that you need in order to make this gallery work. Okay, I'm gonna come back. I also need additional scripts, so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to copy the script tag, edit copy, and note that it's in the head of the document. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hit the return key after that first set of copying and I'm going to paste. I'm going to go back to this website and now it's telling me what I need to put in the body tag. So I'm going to copy that, edit copy. I'm going to flip back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to look for my hero div. I'm going to click right in between there and I'm going to paste that. Okay. Now, what it gives you is just text, but we're going to replace this text with images. So I am looking at this text here, which is located right here. 
I am simply going to hit my delete key to get rid of it. Then I'm going to go insert image. I'm going to navigate to the folder I had you put in your USB. It's called images gallery and I'm going to select slide one. Okay. Where I've got I am another slide, I'm going to go ahead and delete that text and I'm going to go insert image again and I'm going to go to slide two. Okay. Now it is going to look kind of funky in design view but let's go ahead and preview on the web. Okay, now obviously there's some issues with it because my hero section wasn't big enough for these images and they, it wasn't long enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at how big these images are. Okay, they are 960 by uh, 480. So I'm going to go back to my hero class and I'm going to adjust that. So I'm going to open up my CSS designer, go to my hero class here, and the height was it was 480. Okay, and I'm also want to change the overall size of this container. My only issue with doing that right now is the articles below it, but I'll go ahead and do it. The images were 960. I'll go ahead and preview again. Okay. Now what I have to do next is I have to adjust these articles. So now before it was a thousand, now the size is 960. So I'm going to go to my articles, lower that width. we go. I'll go ahead and preview again. Okay. Obviously I've got to even make some more adjustments based on this slider such as my navigation bar back to make sure that it fits that same size. There we go. Go ahead and preview again. Okay, that's fitting in. And obviously I want to give a little bit more space above my article. So I'm going to go back to the article tag again and add some padding at the top. Okay. Again, I'm going to preview. And there I go. If I want to add more images, okay, all I need to do is go to my code again. Move this out of the way. Expand this a little bit. Instead of having two lines here, I'll add additional ones. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it. I'll paste it again. And I think I gave you either four or five, maybe it was five images for the slider. Oops, I didn't quite pick up the first carrot. I'll go ahead and preview again. So it goes apples, oranges, 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 and obviously I don't want all those oranges. So instead of having slide two multiple times, what I'm going to do, the easiest way to go about this would be to select the image quote to quote, delete the quote, create a new quote, and you get a browse window. 
I'm going to browse to my image folder, my image gallery, and I'm going to not the image, not the oranges, but the blueberries. And I actually did on an order, so I can actually just come in here and make my duplicate side two a four, and my duplicate size slide two again a five. I'm going to go ahead. Oops, let me do that again. Something was wrong with that one. Do I not have five? Thought I did. Oh, I only did four. Okay. So I'll just get rid of that line. Okay. Obviously, the best thing to do is go about creating your containers at the appropriate size to begin with so you don't have to resize your images. I see there's a little bit more adjustment I need to do here, but that's an easy fix. That is the BX slider.